Hey, what is up everyone? This is Dynamite here. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Insurgents. In the last episode, we got our first gym badge. The, uh, what was it called? Zephyr badge? Something like that? No, Zephyr badge is from um, the other thing. We got that badge, whatever that badge is. Um, a thermal badge, I think it was called, actually. But yes, last time, we ended off by talking to the hiker and he said he had a Delta Scyther for us. Uh, we just needed to find him a steel type that he could get to trade with him, which right here um, We have buy because I'm gonna get rid of him anyways So might as well name him buy see you later. This is a jolly Magnemite. Oh, his IVs are good, but yeah jolly Magnemite is not great because obviously he needs a special attack But yes, yeah, so we are just gonna get rid of it anyways uh, so yeah, I'd box the Axew for a bit, because he's obviously the weakest link uh, at the moment. And I kind of wanted to try using the Scyther, so I'll probably box it for a little bit. We might also, just later on, when we have access to it, get a different Axew that could be better. Um, either way, for now, uh, I got everyone up to level 25 as well. Um, I think the only one that learned a new move was uh, Raphael. We learned Protect, which actually is pretty good considering he has the leftovers. I can just go for Protect and get some more leftovers HP. Um, so I thought it was pretty good on him. So other than that, yeah, nobody learned really anything new. We still have Sandmarg right there. Sandmarg! I don't know. Um, I don't know if I'll keep him. He, he, it's a Deltamon, so I wanted to use it. Either way, we are getting rid of this uh, Magnemite right here. Let's talk to the hiker. I see you found me. Blah, 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 blah. We already talked to you. Let's trade with you. Bye. Ah, good choice. Here you are then. Bye. And we get Scyther. Ooh. Okay. That's pretty sick. I like that. I like that. Its name is Cleaver. Ice fighting. From Hiker Trevor. It's a hardy nature. You know, that's fine. Oh, wait, that's Hustle. Ooh, that's both good and bad. Oh, those IVs are ass. I mean, its speed is good, but like, two attack, three defense. Two special attack doesn't matter, but zero special defense. Oh, wow, that's not great. Let me tell you that. That's not great. So it's an ice fighting type. Ooh, okay, we already have a fighting type. Maybe I'll just keep the Axew. I don't know. <laughs> I also don't have any, uh, whatchamacallit. it. Um... I don't have an EXP share yet, which really does suck. I really want an EXP share so I can easily level him up, but I don't have an EXP share. Oh well. Um, he does look really cool, especially in like this pride form. Still undecided if traveling is the right thing or not. Wow, how rude. All right. I mean, let's see you in a battle. Let's let's check you out against this C dot and Suda Wudo. Okay, Backsprout is interesting. Uh, we don't really have many good moves. I only have False Swipe and Pursuit as my attacking moves. Really not that great. Yeah, I don't think Cleaver will be one that we're gonna keep. But we'll use it f at least through this route a little bit so we can see what kind of moves it gets and stuff. I think it'll be kind of fun. Did you know that at Turn Region there's a trench so deep that nobody's ever touched the bottom? It's called the Maelstrom 9 and it's huge! Hmm. Sounds interesting. Maybe we can find a Kyogre there. I don't know, man. I don't know. Um. You know what? Let's set up focus energy. Actually, this thing is really high level. Let's see how much it does. That was a crit. Well, goodbye, Cleaver. <laughs> I probably should have switched out. I don't know why I stood in, to be honest. Um. What are we going to do against Chin Chao? I guess I'll go with the Raphael. We need a grass type, man. Where's our Delta grass types at? This thing actually outspeeds me. That's insane. Why didn't I use Vacuum Wave? I'm stupid. Ouch. Vacuum Wave! Yeah, there we go. That did not KO. Okay, that's why I didn't use Vacuum Wave, I guess. Alright, beautiful stuff. Get some leftovers. HP. Until. Okay. Knockoff is probably our best damaging move. Wow, that did a lot of damage to me. Okay. You know what? Let's uh, press the big red button. Let's go into our huge power, Bluey. That already has Play Rough and Aqua Tail. 
Like, this thing just one-shots everything early on. Like, look at that. That's insane. I don't think Bluey's even holding an item at the moment. Oh wow, that actually only did half. I thought it would do more than that. Oh well. Still did half, so it's still good. Level 27. Yeah, press, I might visit it sometime. There's a constant storm going on there too, hence the name. Oh, what's this? It's like a poisonous acid. Ooh, scary. Scary. Alright. So, it was not the Ralts that I was thinking of that as a Delta, but I guess it was the Scyther that I was thinking of we were getting. I know there's a Ralts, like, kind of early on as well, which I think will be an interesting get. Um, I kind of want to heal up Cleaver so I can use him a little bit, but I don't have any revives. Uh, I guess I'll just go back real quick. So one thing that is a little bit disappointing about this game, and I'm not sure if anyone would have mentioned it at this point in the comments, um, but uh, it's a little disappointing that this game doesn't really have that many animations for certain moves. I mean, you do gotta remember that this is a pretty old fan game, so those like kind of effects really weren't a thing back then, so um, you have to keep in mind that. Also, uh, Cleaver did level up a little bit while I was going back here, and now it has low sweep. So, that's kind of cool. Um, let's just carry on. I've been studying a new fairy type. The one thing I don't understand is their dragon immunity. How does that work? See, that's how old this game is. They say new fairy type. This was during Gen 6. So, yeah. Keep that in mind while you judge this game. I think this game is absolutely crazy good for, you know, a game that's, you know, like this old, like it holds up incredibly well still. It just doesn't really have animations for moves, that's like the only disappointing thing. Alright, come on, Sandmark. Parabolic Charge doesn't do anything, cool. Alright, got some boosted experience, got the level 26. Ooh, Bulldoze, yes please. Um, I don't... I think I'm just gonna get rid of Swallow and Spit Up. I don't like those moves. So, we'll get rid of Swallow first. And we'll go for Bulldoze. Ooh, that does way too much damage to me. It lowered speed, maybe I would speed now. Yeah, let's go! Bulldoze coming in clutch. Um... I would stay in, but I think... It's probably gonna KO me here. Let's actually go into George. Play it safe. Yeah, that was definitely gonna KO me. No doubt about it. Let's go for an incinerate! See you later, Clink. How does a little Jigglypuff stay safe from a huge Salamence? It makes no sense. Yeah, that makes no sense. Ooh, there's a Hidden Grotto here. I don't know if I've missed a Hidden Grotto so far yet. Oh my gosh, there's a Charmander right there. Interesting. Um, I also have two rare candies. I think I might actually give those to Raphael. Why not? Because he, like... I don't know. Can learn Shadow Sneak now. Which is pretty cool. All the priority, man. So yeah, knockoff is a little bit better than Bite, so I'm gonna rid of Bite. And give it Shadow Sneak. That is pretty good. We could also give Flame Charge to um, heat more, so it can boost its speed. Never mind, it doesn't learn Flame Charge. Okay, um... I don't want to catch this Charmander. Hopefully we can catch it here. I don't know if I'll use it, but I'll catch it. Wow, it's level 10. I need to not KO it. I did also buy some Great Balls when I went back to heal up and stuff, so... Hopefully that comes in clutch here. Ooh, the triple shake. Okay. Oh wait, I just realized I have false swipe on um, on Cleaver. It's kind of funny how this thing is called Cleaver or Cleaver when we now actually have a um, an evolution for Scyther that's called Cleaver. Can I not miss what <sighs> freaking hustle, man? A three times in a row, and my accuracy is lowered as well. I guess that does make sense. That uh, does make sense. Or is that just a hustle? I don't know. Um, either way, 
I think a Pokeball will work now. I mean, it's one HP paralyzed. Never mind. What the heck? And now I'm burned. Fine, I'll just throw a Great Ball. If this doesn't catch, then I don't know anymore. Thank you. Alright, name you overrated, because you are overrated. People love you so much, but you're definitely not that amazing, right? Like, you're not even that good competitively. You're okay, but not great. And honestly, there's better looking Pokemons out there than a generic fire dragon that's not even a dragon type for whatever reason. Do not get me wrong though, I do not hate Charizard. I actually still like it, it's just... I think it is way too overhyped and overrated, okay? That's just my my opinion. Feel free to disagree with it. I want you, darling. If you think you can handle my Pokemon, you have another thing coming. Oh, we'll see about that. With your bloody gloom. Okay, I should probably switch out here, though. It's not a great matchup for me. If I had an ice type that move, then maybe. But I don't have an ice type move yet. Can you not put me to sleep? Come on, Jork, wake, George, wake the freak up! I don't know what it is today, but I cannot speak correctly. I have that problem a lot, though. All right, get this blossom out of here. Okay, it didn't die. Now it's gonna die. Now, though. No. See you later. Bye bye. Yay, George for the win. Look at that, 28. Hmm. Don't worry, guys. I'll probably... If you don't like heat more, I'll probably will get rid of it soon. Wow, we're already in the next town. That's crazy. Alright. I saw a young girl running into town earlier. I could hear her clomping across the bridge from inside my house. Interesting. Hello, Swallow. Hello! Would you like to bite this egg off of me? I found it on my journey, and I hardly need it. I'll give it to you for 3,000, sure. Did it uh, get transported to my box? Oh yeah, it did. Alright, well... I think I'm actually just gonna get rid of uh, this or of Cleaver for now, because I already have a fighting type. And its stats are kind of abysmal, like those IVs. I mean, sure, it's fast. I don't know. Um, also, I, I have other things in mind that I want to use, so I don't think I'll be using it. For now, we will stick with this team right here. I'm going to see what is the egg as well. So, yeah. That is exactly what we are going to do. Let's explore the rest of this town. Hello there. I moved to Metro Town after living in Helios City for a year. The small town feel of this place really appeals to me over Helios. The sound of the birds chirping. The river roaring. I absolutely love it here. Good for you, buddy. Some water in the city is darker than the rest. Could that mean that there's more water down below? I wonder how deep it goes. Ooh, we can dive? Whee! Do you know Nora from Midnight Town? She's actually my sister. She grew up in this very household. Oh, cool. Yes, I do know her. Alright, the Kami Trio are hidden somewhere in the region. Isn't that incredible? Here in the Torn region? The Kami Trio? What is the Kami Trio again? It's probably really obvious. How is that? In almost every region, it's always a kid that saves the world from the teams. I would understand if uh, there were one or two fluke victories, but it can't be a coincidence. Rawr, Luxray. I love spending time with my Pokemon. My Luxray and I have so many great moments together. I'm sure you guys do. Charge Beam. Ooh, you know what? That's actually not bad. That's actually pretty good to have on uh, Mouser. Yeah. I think I'll actually get rid of Thundershock for that. Because I can boost my special attack with that. Alright. Pretty epic. Not gonna lie. Okay, I don't, did I talk to you yet? Secret base. Hmm. Is there a secret base here? Let's find out. Look who it is. Hey, Denimon, how are you doing? It's me, Nora. I see you finally made it to Mechi Town. I love this place. I used to live here, actually. 
I just wanted to meet up and talk about something. But first, how about we battle? It's time to put my training with Celebi into practice. Oh, you actually are having Celebi in your team? That's a little crazy. Um, let's go for Aquatail here. Hopefully just one-shot you. Did not one-shot. But I should be able to two-shot. There we go. Nice job, Bluey. Floet coming out. I'm gonna Aquatail this thing as well. Alright. See, that's the only problem with Bluey at the moment is that the moves are a little inaccurate. But, you know, just... Sheer power definitely makes up for it. Okay. Um, here is an actual Celebi. I could go into my Dark type. It's definitely going for a Grass move, though, I think. I could just go for Play Rough and see how much it does. I can live on Magical Leaf, right? Yeah, I can. Okay. Mm, didn't do as much as I was would have hoped. Let's go into George. Oh, we didn't take that as well as I thought. Okay. Let's go for Incinerate. Oh, you have Ancient Power! Okay, I was not expecting that. I guess let's go into Raphael. We can go for a nice little knockoff here. Look at that. That's some damage. Oh, that's some damage too. These. Okay, there we go. We got rid of it. Stupid Celebi. Took out two of my mons. Alright, here comes Croconaw. I'm gonna knock off this thing as well. Knock off again. Beautiful stuff. And now we're just gonna vacuum wave. See you later. Priority for the win. Nice job, Raphael. Cannot wait for you to evolve into a beautiful Blastoise. Okay, um... You know what, let's go for Protect. Get some HP back. Don't know if uh, I can live now, but... We can try. Oh, I do live! Nice! There we go. The Leftovers Protect Strat coming in clutch. Even with Selby, I can't win. I'm just too good. Wow, that was intense. I'm starting to get convinced that prophecy was about you instead of me. I wish I were able to read it. That way I could know for sure. Anyways, I need you to talk to Damien. He seemed trustworthy, so I told him about Selby and Mew, but I don't think I fully explained to him just how important it is to keep it a secret. Would you mind doing that for me? Last I heard, he was headed south to Vipic City to challenge Xavier. I do it myself, but I have other things on my mind. I'll see you around, Dynaman. Oh god, this is gonna go horribly wrong. He's going to tell people, isn't he? Why don't you tell him? Uh, Just don't tell anyone. Whatever. How did people at Daker not know what's going on in there? Did they never learn about the Starly and Beedrill or something? I heard there was a sect of rangers somewhere in this region. If only I were there, though. I'd love to join up. Alright, whooper. I'm gonna heal up. This town was named after Mechi, one of the gym leaders here when the region was first founded. She had a fairy type gym. She went undefeated as long as she was here. She died eventually, and we named the town after her because of her winning streak. In place of her gym, we built secret bases to sell to newcomers. Why don't you try buying one? We used to have a nasty red attack infestation in forced east of here. Luckily, a few of us were able to band together to clear it out. We repurposed the space for secret bases, which was a fantastic idea. We made a ton of money from that industry already. Hmm. Secret bases. Wow. I already went in here. Hey, check this out! If your Pokemon would faint when taking damage, this item lets you live at 8 on HP. Focus band. It's only a chance, though. Ha, you thought I meant the focus test, didn't you? Uh, I mean, it could have been both. So, yeah, I don't know. Doesn't really matter. Oh, this is the secret bases thing? Yeah, this is like an online thing where you can, like, visit people's secret bases. Um, I think I'm gonna pass. Because I don't think I'll be using it much. If I'm gonna be honest. 
lot of travelers find this sound tricky to find a way out of. You are actually s supposed to go south down the river. So right here. Interesting. I went here to met you for as long as I can remember. Back then, our only source of food from came from the berry patch. But then we learned to farm and fish, and our town has grown since. Wow. Oh, lots of spiros. I was like, maybe one is holding something. Yeah, there's nothing else in here. So yeah, you have to surf down, it seems. What if I surf up, though? What if it's, What is over here? Nothing, probably. It's over here. Huh? Oh. Also, yeah, I just realized we have surf. We can literally surf, ev uh, like, pretty much everywhere. It's pretty crazy. Taking it easy. Keep out. What if I don't wanna? Hello? Doors locked and rusty. Nobody has been there for a long time. Mm. But I wanna go in there. Alright, fine. Alright, let's go check this daycare. You know what? I think next episode I might go back to some places um, that we needed surf for. Daycare woman. I help take care of the pretty Pokemon of trainers. And if I would like to have race, can leave my husband care. Alright, it's just the daycare. Cool. Alright, yeah, that's all there is to here. Yeah, I think I will actually... Uh, I mean, I could actually just do that right now. We haven't been going for that long. So... I think there's definitely some places that I can surf. I just completely forgot that I actually have surf. And actually can use it. Like, over here. What is over here? Oh, there's the honey! We needed that for the side quest. Cool. We'll gladly take that. Yeah, we definitely can't surf across that water. Some water over here, but it doesn't really lead to anywhere. Well, what does this lead? Nothingness. Okay. Cool. I love nothingness, man. Alright, let's go... Let's go up here. And all the way down here, I think, was where the man was. Yes, we have the honey. I think maybe we had some honey. We'd be able to find it. Why don't you have a look? Right, miss some honey. Ah, wonderful. You found some honey. Let me grab that from you. Okay, let me give it a try. Okay, I spread the honey. We should... What? Here it is. Please. You need to help. Do whatever you can. Stop this little demon from rampaging through my beautiful garden. Ooh, that's definitely a Delta Pokemon right here. Let's do it. It's... Ooh, an Apom. That's definitely a ghost type. Alright, let's Thunder Wave you. Never mind, we're getting flinched first. Oh, maybe it's a normal ghost type. That would be crazy. Oh, the curse. Okay, I think I'm just gonna throw a ball here. Before it KOs itself. Um, yeah, great ball. Here we go. One, two, three. Damn. Okay, thankfully it can't use curse anymore. I'm just gonna throw great balls. Just hope for the best here. You know, randomly let's throw a dusk ball. Oh wow, that actually worked. We're not even in a dark place. I mean, it fits him because he's a yeah, it's a ghost normal type. Wow, that's cool. Uh, you know what? Let's name it after another Mario enemy. We'll name it uh, Ukiki, which is the monkey from Super Mario 64, which we all wish would just die because it steals your hat and he's just annoying. So, makes sense because he's a ghost type. There we go. <laughs> I don't know, man. Wow, you did it. Thank you so much. Take this. It's the least I can do. Oh, we got some more money. Soon, my garden will we have the most beautiful flowers ever. Now that the little monster is gone. Alright, so that's a ghost normal type, which we don't have either of those typings at the moment. Which is kind of cool. That's potentially something we could use. Um, but I do have an egg that I still need to hatch. Alright, let's check you out anyways. There you are. You have cursed body. Okay. Interesting. Careful nature. Which isn't bad because you're mostly a physical attacker. But it would be nice if I had something that boosts your speed. Especially since it has only 8 IVs in speed. But 
That's alright. I want to know what this egg is, so I think I will uh, hold on, hold off on using him for now. I do, I do want to use him, but I, I don't want to replace anyone just yet, right? Um, until I see what this egg is, because otherwise I can just replace the egg with this thing, right? All right, so I want to see what I can do here now that I have uh, the instant Lapras. Oh. There's an item here. Ooh, a hard skill. Okay. Uh, anything else? Oh, there's an ultra ball. Let's go. That's pretty pog. Did I really just say that? Yes, I did. Anyways, moving on. Oh, the egg is already hatching. What is inside? Really? Is it just a random whatever it's in the egg? Like, what? What's the point of having this? I mean, yeah, sure. Oh, wow, it's Jolly and Huge Power? Okay, it probably has better stats than my other thing. But I don't really feel like getting rid of the one I have right now. I think we should be good, right? We should be fine. Yeah, I will definitely switch out... Um, this marrow I just hatched with uh, the Apom. Because it'll be pretty fun to use. At least for a bit. I don't know if it will stay on the team, but I want to use it at least a little bit. Okay, the... Can I even get anything in here? Hoping. Ah, there we go. There's a TM for round. Well, let's go and get some more r repels and heal up. And let's put a cookie in instead of this marrow. Switch him with Mouser for now. Huh. Also, what the heck is that back sprite? I just noticed. That's a funny back sprite. Look at this guy. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. I won't lie. That's pretty awesome. Okay. There is a patch of water here, but it doesn't really lead to anywhere. Okay. I, I'm guessing, like, there's maybe, like, something that can help us climb with ledges later? I don't know. Ooh, Abra. Hello. I wonder what other abilities this Apom could have gotten instead of Curse Body. Because Curse Body... I don't know. For something that's this frail, I don't think Curse Body is that great, you know? I kind of wish I still had Technician with this thing. Like regular Apom. Because a Technician Shadow Sneak would be amazing, right? Oh, there is something over there. Okay, it's a good thing I checked over here. Because there is a TM. And it's Bulk Up. Alright. Not bad. I can probably give that to um, my starter, actually. Yeah. That's actually pretty good to have. Um, I think I'm going to... This is a difficult decision. Yeah, I think since I'm adamant, I think I am getting rid of Faction Wave. I know it's Stab, but I have Shadow Sneak as my priority, so I think I'll give him Bulk Up instead of that. Okay, literally everyone can use Round, which is interesting. Instead of Quick Attack, because it does more damage. Maybe? But quick Attack is priority. I think I'm going to get rid of Tackle on George and give it the Round. I think that will be better for now. Ooh, a Kiki can learn War Cup as well. It's probably better than Curse. I don't really care for Curse. Oh, it does seem like there's something here. Ooh, a Sunstone. Okay. Not bad. Okay. Well, made it all the way to the start of town. Let's see if there's any place to surf here. I don't think so. Yeah, no, that seems to be it. Alright, so we've pretty much checked every place. Oh, wait. Aha! Hello there. Talic... Really? Telekinesis? Come on, man. What is that? Can I find some Pokemon here while serving? I wonder. Do I still have a Repel up? Is that why I don't find anyone? No, I don't think I can find any Pokemon here. Okay. Alright, anyways. I think um, that'll be it for this episode of Pokemon Insurgents. We had some crazy stuff happening. We have a beautiful... 
new Delta Mon right here. But honestly, I might use. We'll see, we'll see. Um, I'll definitely use it for now. It's nice to have a normal ghost type. It's pretty good typing. I will need to level it up a little bit. I might do that a little bit off screen. Um, and yeah, I'll probably go back to the spot where we were before. Um, in that one other town, the breeding town. I'll probably meet you guys back there in the next episode. So, yeah. Like I said, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.